Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to The Daily Dish where we get food for thought and food to feed the soul. So for today we're going to see what messages Spirit may have. These are general reads in The Daily Dish and they are timeless. So even though I am posting it on a certain day, with that day in mind, um, these are really timeless readings. And they are general, so just keep in mind that when you watch these, it may not resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay? What do you have for the collective today, Spirit? What messages do you have? What do we need to be aware of? All right, let's see what we have here. We have the Six of Swords. Well, definitely moving away from something. You know, I'm, I'm hearing that, that whatever it was, whatever it is that we're moving away from, it was... A painful time but it, it had to happen in order for us to grow we've learned something about ourselves uh, the situation in general and learned about other people in our lives whether it be friends family um, really thinking about the situation and making a decision to part from that and move away okay let's see what else we have yeah definitely move we're gonna so whatever the situation is yeah there's conflict here um, whatever the situation is we have the nine of Pentacles and the five of swords um, there's been some sort of conflict or argument um, def I hear the word disagreement so there's been some sort of disagreement, and it wasn't pretty. It wasn't a pretty situation. And now, with the Nine of Pentacles, taking time to just be on our own. Just be on our own. And we have the Two of Cups. The King of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. I will do the bottom of the deck in a moment. This could be a love situation. This could be somebody whom you were involved with or somebody with the Knight of Cups over here. Somebody that you were fond of. Um, yeah, I do. I do hear that it's, it's a, a potential relationship that you were in or a possible relationship. With the King energy here. I'm hearing that you were patient with this person and the situation. But this person didn't appreciate what you were doing for them. Person or people, but I'm hearing person. Interesting. Okay, let's get one more. Oh, let's see what the bottom of the deck is first. Yeah, the Four of Cups. You, um, for many of you, you've had enough of the situation. You, maybe this person was trying to offer you some sort of an apology. Um, and you're just not interested. You're not interested in an apology. Because at one time you were happy. You were very happy. Maybe you were married. Maybe this is a divorce. Um, it could have been someone you were married to. Maybe this person cheated. Um, but you're just, yeah, you've, you've stepped back into your power. You've come to the realization that this is not, not what you wanted at all. Not what you thought it was going to be is what I heard. Not what you thought it was going to be. So 
I'm getting some feelings that it's in a relationship of some sort. Whether you were married, whether you were living together, and there's a lot of yellow and blue in this reading. A lot. So the yellow to me is, I, I hear brightness. It's just bright. And with these three, there's some yellow in here too, but with these three in particular, I'm hearing that, yeah, you, I feel, I feel like it's a relationship for many of you. And um, I'm hearing that something came to light. You saw something for what it really, the person for what they really were and the situation for what it really is. And with the King of Pentacles, you realized once you thought about it, although you were emotionally involved with them, you, you still have feelings for the person, of course, and love them. But the more you thought about it, the more you realized you didn't want this anymore. Maybe there was always arguing, but there's some sort of... But with the Five of Swords here and you moving away with the Swords, I feel... Because the five, this is the five to the six. So that's the ace of swords. So you are going off embarking on a new beginning. You have finally realized the truth. You've gotten the clarity that you needed to realize this was not a good relationship or a good connection. And you've decided to, you'd rather be on your own. Rather than be with a relationship that's not working. The Knight of Cups is interesting because the Knight of Cups is... Moving away from this, but he's carrying a cup, and it's as I said, it's almost like there's some sort of an apology, and this is the, your person saying, "I'm really sorry," you know, "Can we just start over?" Can we? Blah, blah. And you're saying, "No, I don't. I want no part of it. I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. It's it's tainted. It's something." So this person did something. All right, let's see if we can get some clarifying cards. All right, we'll get a few if they don't pop out. I'll, I'll grab a few. Well, here's one. Here's, here, we'll do these. These three are sitting here. Oh, that one wanted to come too, so there's four. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth, and you're not going to let somebody take that away from you. So with the Two of Swords on the bottom, you sat down and you thought about this. Thought long and hard is what I just heard. I, you thought long and hard about this, and yeah, Six of Pentacles. It's like you were doing all the giving, they were doing all the taking. You finally had enough. Finally had enough. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, oh, well, Queen of Swords, and Temperance. Okay, we'll start with the Page of Pentacles. You've learned something about this person. You've learned something that they did, um, said, something. And that, that's what triggered it. That was like the last straw because there's the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords energy is a no-nonsense, um, matter-of-fact, cut you out, slice you to pieces type energy. Okay, so I feel like this was a pretty harsh, whatever this person did and whatever this disagreement, fight, argument, battle, whatever it was, was pretty bad. And you cut this person down and you cut, you cut them pretty good. Or I'm going to say cut them bad, however you want to put it. But, um, and you made it pretty clear to them. That's, I don't want this anymore. And then you have the temperance card. So right now, for the collective, for those who, whomever this resonates for, this is a time of healing. Time to be by yourself and healing. It's time to balance out your energies. You've been through a lot with this. So it's, it's, so this can also mean, you know, masculine and feminine energy. That's how I usually read actually the two of, two of cups, depending on the other cards. Um, so you could also be balancing out your masculine and feminine side, you know, at this point, because you're, you're trying to be logical about the situation. You're also trying to, emotions are coming up, but you're logically trying to deal with them in a constructive way. So you can move on. But the temperance is about healing. So right now it's really... A time to heal. Let me see if this. Yeah, and 
excuse me, let me point out in this picture in the temperance card. And let me just see what we have here. Because temperance could be a Sagittarius. With the uh, swords, it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Pentacles could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, and <laughs> I'm missing. What am I missing? Virgo. Uh, sorry, Virgos. Uh, it doesn't have to be, though. I'm just pointing out what, who, you know, what could be in here. We also have water signs here. So, um, anyways, it's a time to heal. So, right now, Spirit wants you to know it is definitely a time to heal. You know your worth. And I, I've, I'm, let me back up just a minute. Because you have the page, the queen here, and the king of pentacles. You have three pentacles here, the court cards. And... With these two here, with the king and the queen, you thought this was your person, your soulmate, possibly your twin flame. You thought that this was going to last. Or maybe if you were in a relationship or living together or married, you thought this was the real deal and it was going to last. Something has happened. But now it's a time to heal. You've been through the battle. It's time to take some time on your own. And you know you're worth. You know you're worth it. And you're just going to take some time by yourself. And it's a time to heal. All right, so we will continue with this journey and this story tomorrow on the next Daily Dish. Uh, whatever comes out, comes out. Those are the messages. I don't necessarily aim in a certain direction. Whatever messages Spirit has or what I hear, channeling messages, that's what we can bring into the reading. So uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Very much, much appreciated. Um, it helps the channel and it also gets the message out to people who when you give it a thumbs up or you comment I would love to hear from you too. I love that feedback um, It gets it out to other people so they can see it Maybe those people are the ones that need the message also um, So I appreciate that but subscribe and join the tribe Hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon button and then I have other readings I have mental health Mondays and I'm doing zodiac signs right now um, I have uploaded um, Leo Virgos is coming out later on after this in the afternoon, and so I'm a little behind on them, but uh, I'll be doing those. So you can get not notifications when I upload any videos. But I do appreciate you joining. I hope you will join again. Uh, if you like these type of readings, please do let me know in the comments or and or with a thumbs up. And I hope you will join again. See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.